We are learning new details today about Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's hospitalization at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. As CBS correspondent Natalie Brand reports, Austin was secretly admitted last week and for three days even President Biden did not know that Austin was in intensive care. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is said to be recovering well and in good spirits, but both Democrats and Republicans are expressing concern about the lack of transparency surrounding his hospitalization at Walter Reed. The Pentagon says Austin had an elective medical procedure on December 22nd and went home one day later. Then on New Year's Day, Austin started experiencing severe pain and was admitted to the intensive care unit. The next day, Austin transferred certain operational duties to his deputy, Kathleen Hicks, but she was not informed of his hospitalization until January 4th. The White House's chief of staff and national security advisor were not briefed until that day either. A defense official tells CBS News that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General C.Q. Brown, was informed that Austin was in the hospital on January 2nd. But Brown, who is President Biden's principal military advisor, did not inform the White House. As questions about the timeline swirl, a White House official confirmed to CBS News the president is not considering firing Austin over the incident. Fellow cabinet members also expressed their support. I'm very much looking forward to seeing him fully uh, recovered and um, working side by side uh, in the year ahead. In a statement, Secretary Austin said, I take full responsibility for my decisions about disclosure and committed to doing better. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.